the disabled environment, the physically challenged environment. Of course, we are being engaged on a daily basis about uh, the stance of the disabled environment or the physically challenged about these elections. And so we speak with a distinct individual who also, I'm told, comes from this place. But then he came all the way uh, to Zigida to participate in uh, this national and democratic process. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? I'm James K. Bien. Okay, Mr. Bien, welcome. This is Kodila Bureau TV. Thank you. Okay. We understand you are here uh, to participate in this national duty, the elections. Um, can you tell us a bit about how you see this election? Uh, anyway, I'm very, very happy mm -hmm. to be here to be live to talk to my people today. Okay. I think this process is very important and crucial to all Liberians. Okay. We all have to participate and see how best we can get a leader for this nation. Okay. Today is not one person business. It is everybody's business. Okay. We all have to work together to see that Liberia get a leadership. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, have you already voted? Can we see your finger? <laughs> anyway, uh, I have voted. Okay. Anyway, I will give you a preference. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, we understood uh, just a few hours ago that uh, people from the disabled community in different parts of this country have decided to disengage to stay away from uh, these elections, considering how crucial it is to Liberians and even the international community. What can you say about that? Is it a general agreement by all of you? <laughs> anyway, you see, in every process, they have people that are disenchanted. Yeah. People that feel different. Okay. But for me, I don't think I was supposed source of poison mm. that would say we we'll descend ourselves. This is Liberia. Mm. We have nowhere to go. We are Liberian and we should stay in Liberia and build Liberia. So if you say you are going to get out of the process, mm. I don't think it's, it's some patriotic. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So to my fellow disabled people who say they are dissing themselves from the election, mm. I just want to apologize to them. Mm. Let us see reason to go and exercise their fragile. Okay. Because if you don't do this, mm. then you have a lot to lose. Okay. You must be part of the process to see how best Liberia got a leadership. Okay. Your era of uh, the elections, I'm sure this town is where you come from. Of course, uh, it's very peaceful. The process is going on peacefully, unlike other places. You are aware that lives and properties were lost during the campaign period. And today is the election. And um, there are people who are also living in fear about violence after the election. Do you want to talk about that? Uh, uh, I would like to just tell the listening public, you see, this process, we should not take it somehow personal. Put it within yourself that you are doing it for your nation, not because of as wazi person. Mm. If you come here, try to be peaceful, go about and vote who you want to vote for. But I don't like to hear people saying, oh, Ganatine, today now is a process. Today we have to just continue to see how best we can have our leaders. That's all we are here for. All right, and to my this, it was a uh, citizen that live in Zigida town. Mm -hmm. I think I would love them to just be like me. Okay. To understand that they are doing it for the sake of Liberia, not for any individual. We Thank are doing this because Liberia want a leadership. Thank you. Um, I saw some boys who were like pondering over something you were doing. Of course, uh, we are where you come from, the disabled community, and we want to say uh, thank you so much for the for the information you've given about this election. Somebody saw you playing with a touch screen, and sorry to say, they know that you can't see. How do you go about that? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Uh, anyway, uh, anytime you have a situation, God gave you different style to be able to function. Mm -hmm. As for me, as a disabled person, mm. uh, yes, it is painful when you are disabled, especially visually impaired. Yeah, sure. Where you are seeing before, you cannot see no longer. It is so painful. But you have to sometimes give everything to God in the first place when it happens. Mm. This ability is not inability. Yeah, sure. Okay, for me, 